Hi, Dr. Dave here to look at a new approach to the pre-stance routine, or the steps you follow to get down into your best personal stance. Don't try to emulate somebody's stance or force yourself into a textbook or an orthodox stance from a book. The ideal stance can vary a lot from one person to the next based on body type, height, natural feet angles, especially if you're pigeon-toed or duck-footed, back, neck, hip, and leg flexibility and strength, chest and belly sizes, etc. See my previous stance videos linked in the video description that cover generally recommended stance best practices, differences between the pool and snooker stances, and advice for how to find your personal best stance. There are two common approaches to the pre-stance routine. One is to first stand behind the cue where you can visualize the line of the shot from a comfortable standing position. Then you walk into the stance by first placing your back foot on or close to the shot line and then step to the side with your front foot, trying to keep your head over the line of the shot the entire time. Notice how my face is square to the shot and along the shot line during the entire pre-stance routine. Another common pre-stance routine is to start with the back foot already in the final position, with your head again over the shot line. Then, you just move your front foot forward and out as you bring your head straight down. Recently, I have evolved my pre-stance routine into the following. I first lock my vision center over the shot line and place my feet in the final stance positions. I waggle and adjust a bit until everything feels and looks perfect. At the same time, I am aiming and aligning while standing. My head and grip hand are along the shot line before dropping into my stance. I lock my eyes on my object ball target or ghost ball position along the required line of the shot. This helps guide me straight down and helps me align the cue along the necessary shot line. I call this my laser guided drop, thinking of my eye gaze as laser beams intensely focused on my target. I don't look at the cue ball until I am already down to fine tune the position of the tip, although I can see the cue ball in my peripheral vision as I drop down. If your feet and head are in the right places, the tip will automatically end up where you want after a little practice. With a good pre-stance routine, including aiming and aligning while standing, there will be less need to adjust your aim and alignment once you are down on the shot. Remember to always start your pre-stance routine with your head and eyes in the right place, with your personal vision center over the shot line. See the link in the video description for more information. Then place your feet and body relative to your vision center head position. And keep your head over the shot line during the entire pre-stance routine. Do not start with your head offline and bring it in from the side as you drop into the stance. It will be very difficult to align accurately and consistently with this approach. Again, start with your vision center over the shot line. To get down into the stance, you can bend at the waist and or bend at the knees as necessary based on comfort. I am tall and like to get my chin close to the cue, and I prefer a deep knee bend to limit discomfort in my neck, back, and hamstring. You can also widen your feet to help get your body lower more easily. If you have trouble with your chest or belly being in the way during the stroke, you can move your feet back from the shot line, especially the back foot, to create more clearance. The disadvantage is, more neck and back contortion will be required to get the face square with the eyes level since the face will naturally point away from the shot. And if you don't have trouble with clearance, but you experience neck or back discomfort, you might consider opening your stance slightly by bringing the front foot back and or the back foot forward. All of this will depend on your body type and situation, and you might not be able to have your face totally square with your eyes perfectly level, and that's okay. All you can do is move around to find the best you can do without too much discomfort. Again, I have links to other resources in the video description that can help you find your personal best stance. You should keep the grip hand along the shot line, with the head also over the shot line, as you drop down into the stance. You can even bring the entire cue into the line pointing up before getting down so everything comes into and stays along the line of the shot the entire time. You can also pre-place the cue with the tip of the cue ball and place the bridge hand under the cue as you drop down. 
If you have trouble figuring out how close to stand to the cue ball and where to place your feet, you can work backwards from your stance to find the required feet positions and to see where your grip hand is relative to your hip when you are standing. When practicing, you can place the tip at the cue ball, place your grip hand on the cue at your normal position, move your feet forward until the grip hand is in the right position relative to your hip, and then waggle to place your feet more accurately. This technique can be used with the other pre-stance approaches also. You can also use a mirror to help practice your head positioning and laser-guided drop. You can place a stand-up mirror in front of the table, or use a stool in front of a bedroom wall mirror, or a bridge on a bathroom counter. This will let you visually confirm that your head drops straight down with your face square and eyes level. If you need to make significant adjustments after you are down, you should get up and restart the process. You need to be careful to not adjust your aim too much while down on the shot because you can't see the angles as well in the low position. You need to learn to trust the aim and alignment you established while standing. Sometimes it can help to first look at the shot from far away and even crouch down with a one-eyed squint to see how straight a shot might be or to make sure there is clearance past obstacle balls. This can also be helpful when the cue ball and object ball are close together with a cut angle. Standing farther away and with a tall look might help you better see the required angle and line of the shot. One advantage of my new approach is you are closer to the table with a higher look at the shot where you can better see the shot angle and required aiming line. Also, by carefully placing each foot before getting down, they are more likely to end up in the right positions. Also, the new approach encourages you to spend a little extra time aligning and aiming while standing before getting down into your stance. This is probably one of the most important elements of any pre-shot routine, so doing it more carefully can only help. Be sure to practice with any changes you make to your pre-stance routine. You need to groove it in so it becomes automatic. In other words, your new natural. One disadvantage of the new approach is, you need to start with your head in a slightly unnatural position, but it is not hard to find the position since it is over the shot line, especially if you do the mirror practice. Another possible disadvantage is you might not accurately place the bridge hand on the table by helicoptering down, as compared to sliding in from farther away. However, with practice, I think either approach is equally good, and it is still possible to slide in some with the new method. Again, you should use whatever approach works best for you. It doesn't make much difference how you arrive at your stance, as long as you can do so accurately and consistently. I have found that what works best for me is my new pre-stance routine, where I place everything carefully before getting down. I hope the new approach helps you too. Good luck with your game from Dr. Dave.